you started watching this video means you know how to use social media effectively. I always appreciate it because the same platform is flooded with content that doesn't add any real value in our life. According to a study that conducted in 2021, 97% university students use social media but only 1% use it for academical purposes. So first of all, I congratulate you for the curiosity and willingness that you have to learn something new. In this video, we will talk about one of the useful topics of cognitive psychology, specifically from thinking and problem solving. From this topic, you can find questions in all kinds of psychology entrance exams very frequently. We will talk about strategies and various methods of problem solving. We will discuss about A to Z about problem solving strategies in this video. This video will help you in psychology entrance examinations as well as college and university semester exams too. So let's begin. Problem solving is a cognitive process and a skills that help us to identifying, analyzing and finding solutions of challenges that we are facing in our life. We can say it's the ability to use logical and creative thinking to address problems, make decisions and achieve specific goals. No matter who we are or what we are doing, throughout our existence, we are continuously trying to resolve various issues. When we are not finding solution, then we fail to reach our goals, not achieve what we want to achieve. And sometimes it can lead to emergence of psychological difficulties and stress. Problem solving ability is a crucial life skills to get success, satisfaction and for our psychological well-being sometime. Most of the time in our life, we are trying to solve certain kind of problems like trying to find parking space, trying to impress someone, trying to complete a college project, trying to repay financial debt, trying to reach somewhere, trying to write an email to someone, trying to plan a perfect date for your loved one, buy an expensive car, trying to achieve something personally like cracking psychology entrance exams, we always trying to solve certain kind of problems. You can find these problems are different in nature. Sometime it will be easy, sometime difficult. Maybe you are trying to solve in few minutes to hours and sometimes we are planning to solve that particular problem in months to years. According to many psychologists, we solve problem in a cycle. Specifically, according to Sternberg in 1986, according to Hayes in 1989, and Bransford and Sten in 1993, they all identified seven steps of problem solving processes. Number one, recognize or identify the problem. Number two, define and present the problem mentally. Number three, develop a problem solving strategy. Number four, organize knowledge about the problem. Number five, allocate mental and physical resources. Number six, monitor development toward the goal. And number seven, evaluate the solution for accuracy. The first step is to become aware of existence of a problem. It involves acknowledging that there is challenges or issue that need attention in our life. Without recognizing the problem, no solution can be found. We cannot find any solution if we are not aware about the problem. Whenever we are finding any problem, then also we have to understand nature of that particular problem. So according to Gedgel, Gedgel is one of the popular psychologists. According to Gedgel, problems can be categorized into three types. Number one, presented problems. Number two, discovered problems. And number three, created problems. Presented problems are those that are given directly to the problem solver. In these cases, the problem is clearly stated and there is no need to recognize or find the problem by solver. Like, a company is facing declining sales and want to increase its market share. So problem is clear. They want to increase sales. Similarly, the individual is struggling with the management and want to become more productive. A government agency is concerned about air pollution in a major city and want to improve air quality.
Second type of problem is discovered problem. Means those problems that are already exist, but it is not clearly stated to the problem solver. Like after conducting a market analysis, the company realizes that their pricing is too high. Their pricing is too high in comparison of their competitor. So sales are declining. The individual discovers that they have a habit of procrastination, which is hindering their time management effort. The government agency find that the major contribution of air pollution are outdated industrial emission standards and an increase in the number of vehicles on the road. Here problems are visible, but what kind of action is needed and what kind of action problem solver need to take, it is not clear. And third type of problem is created problems. Here problem solver invent or created a problem that does not already exist in the field. So solver need to use creativity to solve it because problem deviated from the usual way of thinking. That's why need to solve that particular problem creatively. Like to address the declining sale, the company decided to launch a new marketing campaign but now they are facing the challenge of creating an effective and appealing ad. Means how to create effective ads is unique and solver need to use creativity to solve it, to create that particular ad. The government agency must create policy and incentive. They have to give incentive to encourage industry to update their emission control technology and reduce pollution from vehicle on the road but government is struggling with what kind of policy will attract and encourage industry. So we can summarize, like presented and discovered problems involve addressing issues that already exist in some form and created problems are unique. So need innovative and creative problem solving approaches due to their unconventional nature. First step of problem solving was recognize or identify the problem. And in second step, after recognizing the problem, individuals need to define problems clearly. This stage simply means breaking down the problems into its essential components and understanding its nature to work on solution effectively. Once the problem is well defined, in third step, it's time to make a plan or a strategy for solving it. The ultimate goal of problem solving is to overcome obstacles and find a solution that is the best way to solve that particular problem, that particular issues, that particular hindrance. For our entrance exams too, it's essential to understand the strategies. So stay with us to learn about uh, various strategy of problem solving in detail. Step 4 is organize knowledge about the problem. Problem solver use existing knowledge and experiences to solve the problem. At this stage, organizing relevant information about how to solve problem is essential. In step 5, we will allocate mental and physical resources like mental focus, time, effort and moving towards solution. In step 6, monitor development toward the goal. Throughout the problem solving process, individuals should continuously monitor their development toward the expected outcomes or goal and it's important to evaluate that our strategy is working or not. And last, seventh, once a solution is implemented, it's essential to assess its accuracy and effectiveness. This evaluation helps determine if the problem has been successfully achieved the goal or any modifications are required. These seven stages provide a structured framework for tackling various challenges and can be applied to a wide range of situations in life from everyday task to complex problem solving. So there are seven steps of problem solving. Number one, recognize or identify the problem. So when we are recognizing the problem, there will be three types of problem like presented problems, discovered problem and created problems. Number two, define and present the problem mentally. Number three, develop a problem solving strategy. Number four, organize knowledge about the problem. Number five, allocate mental and physical resources for solving the problem. Number six, monitor development toward the goal. And number seven, evaluate the solution for accuracy. In second part of this video, we will talk about problem solving strategies and there are little motivator to all of you. 
So in upcoming videos, I will present two questions that will be based on today's or next video only. 10 participants who will provide fastest correct response after video getting uploaded will get a wonderful gift from UPS Education. And yes, as psychology enthusiast, you will definitely like it. Hope you learn something new from this particular video. Bye. See you.